Hey, how are you doing? Um, welcome to our workout today. So today we're going to be going through a beginner workout. Um, we're going to do an upper, lower, and core style workout. So those are going to be the three types of exercise that we'll have in each of our groups. Uh, 30 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. Um, we'll go through three sets of that, get a little rest before we do the next group. And we'll do four groups uh, of those types of exercises today. So um, as always, when you're going through the workout, so go at your own pace while we're going through the working sets. If you need to rest, if you need to slow down the reps a little bit, uh, if you need to speed them up, you do what's right for you to get the best workout for yourself. Um, then we also want to make sure that when we're going through the exercise, really focus on that technique. So make sure you're really dialing it in, uh, getting the most out of the exercise as you go through it. And the last thing we uh, always want to focus on is that we make sure we have, we're having fun while we're going through the workout, right? We want to improve our health and fitness. We want to make sure we're having fun while we're doing it. So let's, uh, let's give it a go. We're going to start with our warm-up. We're going to pop down on the ground, okay? Uh, so front knees pointing forward, the back leg, uh, legs pulled in behind, hands on either side of that front knee. We're going to hinge forward, nice and tall through the spine, so long through the spine. Uh, you can play with the angle, and again, we're stretching that glute. Uh, on that knee that's forward, so the body goes out. Feeling that lengthening through the glute there. Really trying to mobilize that hip. Okay, so from there we're going to come back up on the hands. Walk the hands away from our feet. So I'm going to be looking over my left shoulder now. Big stretch through the front of my right hip. Into my core, through my quad. I keep looking over the shoulder. To get that you know gentle stretch through the front of the hip. Okay, and we're gonna come back to the middle. We'll switch now, so switch sides. So the other knee uh, is gonna be pointing forward, my right knee forward, um, other legs pulled in behind, and then nice and tall. I'm gonna hinge forward again, and lengthening everything through the glutes here on the right side. Breathing through it, play with that angle, find where you feel the best stretch. Good, so from there we come back up, the hands walk away from the feet. I'm looking over my right shoulder now, nice big stretch through the front of my left hip. If I need to, I can walk the hands back a little more to get that stretch a little bit deeper. And that's great. So from there, we're going to stand up, okay? And then we're going to tie in that upper body, okay? So we're going to reach back with the right hand, and then the elbow to knee. Reach, elbow to knee. Okay, so we're getting that cross-body connection, get some core activation, and they're getting that nice stretch through the front of the chest there. Here we hit the other side. Elbow to knee, reach, elbow to knee. Also working on that balance a little bit, right? Okay, there we go. So last one, uh, we're going to do a forward lunge with a bit of rotation. So I'm going to step with my left leg, loading that leg so you can go as low as comfortable, and then rotate to my left. Okay, so we'll do it all on the left side, and then we'll uh, do the right. So land on my left, nice and stable, rotate, drive back up. Land on the left, rotate, drive back up. One more. Land, rotate, drive better. Okay, we'll hit the right side. We've got two left, so two more. Load that front leg, getting ourselves warmed up, fired up, ready to go. And rotate and drive out of that. Okay, so that's it. We're warmed up, ready to rock. Uh, first group of exercises, we're going to do an incline push-up. So if you have something to incline yourself on, um, you know, couch, chair, um, stairs, whatever it may be, we're going to do that. A uh, second exercise will be forward lunge. We'll be stepping into a lunge. We'll be alternating. Uh, and then dead bugs. We'll be on our back, um, core, working on our core. Okay? Um, so we're just going to start our timer here. So we'll get started in uh, three seconds here. Starting session. So again, starting with that incline push-up. Core is going to be nice and tight. Control yourself down. Drive out of it, okay? So going at your own pace. That 
tension as long as you can. Try and get as much full range as you can. And time. Okay, so our second one, uh, we're going to hit our legs, so it's that forward lunge. We're going to step into it, land with a nice flat foot, and then drive it out of the bottom. Okay, so I land on my left leg, drive through my left leg. Okay, and then we're going to switch to the other. So back and forth. If you want to load it, by all means, you can grab uh, dumbbells. If you have them handy, you just hold them uh, nice and controlled every side. Add that little bit extra resistance um, as you go through the movement. Good, really focus on landing with that flat foot, feeling your front leg lower, you drive out of there. Okay, and then the dead bug, we're gonna go on our back. Okay, so legs are up, like so, hands are up, and then we're taking opposite limbs out. So they're gonna go out, back to the middle. So the core stays tight as those opposite limbs are moving and keeps everything connected. Don't let your back arch as you're reaching out, okay? You want to keep that connection in your core. Good. If you need a little rest, you just take it for a second. Okay. Okay, so we're transitioning back to our uh, incline push up. Okay, getting set. Remember, keep that core tight. You don't want to feel it in the low back at all. Feel those abs engaged, and then you drive them to the chest. That's high. All right, getting ready for our forward lunge next. Again, if you have dumbbells, if you want to load it a little more to challenge yourself, by all means, land control, drive out of that bottom position. Good, 10 seconds left. Keep that up, keep that control. And time. Okay, so we're getting down on the ground, we're on our back, getting ready for that dead bug. Okay, legs come up, hands up, opposite limbs. Keep everything connected through that core, right? Core stays engaged, back stays neutral. If the core starts to feel like it's fatiguing and we're starting to feel it in the back, then we just take a little rest. Okay, just take a little rest. If, uh, if that's starting to happen. Good, keep that tension, keep pushing. Almost there, almost there. That time. Okay, so we're back into our incline push-up. Coming up next. All right, here we go. Keep the core tight. And time. All right, good work. So we're getting ready for those four lunges again here. Whew. Okay. Step, we land, drive out of the bottom. Keep it under control. Feel that front leg get loaded and then push. Ten seconds left. See if we can get a few more reps in. Good, good, good. And time. All right, so we got one more of those dead bugs. 
Then we can get a little breather. All right, here we go, core is engaged. Good, keep moving. Opposite limbs reaching out. It's getting a little hard. You can um, just not reach the leg quite as far out. You can drop it down a little more because the further it gets away, the harder it is. And time. All right, so that's it. Group one done already. That's great. Um, grab a breather, grab a drink if you need. And we'll get set for group two. So in group two, we're gonna do a prone uh, lat pull down. So we'll be down on our chest and our stomach, hands will be up. We're gonna pull our elbows down towards our sides to feel those lats engage. Um, then we're gonna do a squat with lateral walk. So we'll get in our next squat. We're gonna walk back and forth laterally. And then lastly, we'll be a reverse crunch. So we're down uh, on our back and we're lifting our legs up, um, uh, engaging our core uh, from the lower end. All right, so we'll take a big breath. Get ourselves ready, and we're going to be starting with the prone lat pull down. So we'll get down on the ground, uh, on our stomach and our chest, and here we go. So down on the ground, hands go up, pull. Feel those shoulder weights pulling down. And time. Okay, so then we got the squat with lateral walk. So we're gonna get up. We're gonna get in as low as the squat feels comfortable for you. So as much depth as you can. And then we're just walking laterally, okay? Make sure the foot's nice and flat when you step on it. And with that even weight from the front uh, of the foot to the heel. And you're gonna feel those legs loaded the whole time. Good, the hands can be in front of you, they can be nice close to the body, whatever feels comfortable for you. And again, make sure the foot stays flat. And time, so we're getting down on the back. Okay, core is tight. We're just gonna lift those legs up and then back down, okay? If it feels a little challenging, you just drop the feet a little closer to you, okay? The further out you reach them, the more demand there is on the core. Get that core engaged, don't want to feel it in the back. And time. Okay, one round down. So we're getting ready for those prone lat pull downs again. So back on the stomach and the chest. So that squeeze as you drive that elbows down into the sides and the shoulder blades down and together. All right, we're back on our feet. We've got our squat and lateral walks. Okay, so let's drop into that squat. That little lateral shuffle. Legs are nice and loaded. Good, keep that tension. If you want a little more, get a little lower, right? If you want, if you have a dumbbell or something, you could always hold a dumbbell if you need a bit more challenge. It's all up to you. And time. Okay, so we're getting ready for our reverse uh, crunch. Go back on the back.
those muscles in the uh, upper back quite a bit as well. And time. Okay. Get back up, getting ready for our uh, squat with that lateral shuffle. Low. Step it out to the side. Good. Keep yourself moving. Almost there. Ten seconds. Pushing through that last ten. You got this. Nice work. Nice work. Okay, so we're getting down on the back again, and that last one of those reverse crunches. Tension in the abs, and again, if you start to feel it in the back, you just bend those legs a bit more, right? It decreases that demand as you're reaching out. And time. All right, group two done. Halfway there, good work, everyone. Okay. Grab a drink, grab a breather. Okay, so group three, uh, we'll do a push-up. Uh, so off the feet, if you need, modified, you can do it off the knees, not a problem, do what's right for you. Uh, then we're gonna follow that with a squat, so just body weight squat, uh, up and down, um, get the legs working. And then the last one is gonna be a lateral crab walk. So we're gonna kind of be in that crab position where the hands are behind us, bum's nice and low, uh, just lift the bum off the ground and we're gonna be walking back and forth. So. Uh, it's bringing in some core stability because opposite uh, limbs are moving at the same time. Um, so good for core, good for upper body, even gets the legs involved. So everything's kind of working with that. All right, so one big, big deep breath. And then let's get down on the ground. We're going to get into our push-up here, okay? All right, group three, let's do it. Okay, so down on the ground. Push-ups to start. Core is tight. Again, if you need to do the modified version, not a problem, just move as one uh, piece as you're going through that. Lots of tension, nice and controlled. Try and get full range if you can. Nose, chest, and hips kind of all reach the ground at the same time if everything's moving together. And time. Okay, so we've got squats coming next. So we're gonna stand with our feet about, about shoulder width apart, okay? Toes are turned out a little, hands can be out in front. Um, we could have a dumbbell if we want to kind of challenge ourselves a little more. Key here is that the knees open a little and we get that ankle, uh, knee and hip all going in the same direction. Okay, we don't want the knees collapsing in on us, right? Okay, just keep that foot nice and flat. Uh, and then we're going as low as we can comfortably, okay? keeping that back in a neutral position. We want to be moving from the hips. That's why we're really focused on warming up the hips, uh, not from the low back. Okay. So lateral crab walks. We're gonna be sitting on our bum. Okay. Um, on the feet, hands are behind us. Lift the bum off the ground, and then it's opposite limbs. Okay, kind of moving laterally. Good, so getting the shoulders working because we're pushing those shoulders uh, down away from our ears. Core is engaged. Legs are working. Try and keep the head up, chest up as we move along there. If you need to rest, 
You drop down, take a little breather. Not a problem. Okay, getting ready for our push-ups again. Here we go. Keep that up, keep pushing. Strong finish. Ah. All right, good work, good work. Okay, so we've got our squats next. Gonna do a little side view, same stance setup. Uh, you'll see that I hinge forward a little. Okay, just so I can kind of uh, keep my weight in the middle of my foot. Go through those legs, push through the whole foot, drive yourself up. The core type, we want to keep that spine neutral, right? We don't want it to round or overextend. Almost there. And time. Okay, so we're down on the ground for the crab walks. I'm going to show you a view from the side here. Okay, set up. Lift the bum off. Opposite limbs. Okay? It can go nice and controlled like this, no problem. Okay? And it stays up. And uh, I'm shifting the other way, so i got to get my rhythm back. Those opposite limbs are moving at the same time. Good. Keep the shoulders engaged. Nice and stable. If you need to rest, not a problem. Great. You just drop down. You rest as you need in between there. Okay. So we're getting ready for the last round of the push-ups. Doing good. Doing good. Here we go. Core's tight. That nice one piece movement. And time. All right, we're getting ready for our squats again here. So feet are uh, shoulder width. Here we go. Open the knees a little bit. So get that good tracking, ankle, knee, and toe. Uh, foot should be flat. So front of the foot to the back of the foot. Nice even weight distribution uh, through the foot. As we're going through those squats. And tall top, right? Good. Keep pushing, keep that tension in the muscles. Front of the legs, back of the legs, everything's working. And time. All right, and then we'll finish with our lateral crabs. Get down. Legs are definitely feeling it. Good, keeping shoulders down. That little shift to the side. Again, great one. For our shoulder stability, good for a little bit of core activation there, kind of getting that cross body connection. Good whole body exercise. And time. All right, good work. Three down, we got one left. You're doing awesome. So you can grab a drink, grab a breather. Okay. Okay, so last uh, group, group four, uh, bent knee dips. So we can do them off chair, off couch, off steps. You can also do them off the ground if you need. Okay, so again, knees are bent, and we're just going through those dips. Um, glute bridge, so we'll be lying on our back. Uh, knees are bent, feet are flat on the floor, and we're extending the hips up. So uh, getting that hip extension, get the glute activation, and then bear crawls. Okay, so we'll be on our hands and knees now. Uh, doing our crawl. So we can do that with our knees down, um, or we can lift the knees off the ground, so it's just the, toe, or the toes or the feet and the hands, uh, and it'll be a little bit more challenging. So I'll show you both those options. Um, so here we go. Let's get ready with those dips. Again, they can be down on the floor, they can be down on the chair. 
So in a chair, just nice and controlled. Um, keep that tension in your triceps and the shoulders. Control yourself down, push up. We've got 15 seconds left. Almost there. Okay. Ooh, let's just start that up. Okay, glute bridges. So we're getting on our back. Okay. We're down on our back. Bend the knees, feet are flat. Extend the hips up. Right. So we're pushing the whole foot into the ground. You're gonna feel your glutes. You're gonna feel your hamstrings. Core stays tight, so we don't want to overarch through our back. Okay. It's about extending the hips, not extending the low back. Keep pushing, keep pushing. And time. All right, all right. Air crawls. So on the hands and the knees, like I said, we can do it off the knees, we can lift the toes. So here we go. So it's going to be opposite limbs. Okay, if I'm doing it off the knees, shoulders nice and stable. Okay, if I'm going to lift, so I just lift the knees just off. Same thing though. Just move in, just a little bit more demanding. So you do uh, what's right for you. Keep it nice and controlled. Pushing those hands in the ground so the shoulders stay stable. If you're doing it off the toes, just make sure your bum doesn't start hiking up, okay? We wanna keep those knees nice and, uh, nice and low as we go through that, okay? So don't let the hips get up too high. If you're just doing the crawling off the knees, no problem. Okay, so getting ready for our bent knee dips again. Here we go. Keep yourself moving. This is where it all starts to add up, but keep that pace, keep that technique tight, do what's right for you. Give yourself a good workout, but make sure the form stays good. Make sure those muscles we're going after are the ones that you, that you feel working. It's gonna be your triceps here for sure. Feel my triceps big time on that one. Okay, so we're getting down on our backs for our uh, glute bridges. Okay, and here we go. Push the feet in, squeeze the glutes. Feel those hamstrings, feel the glutes squeezing together. Core stays tight as you're driving up. We'll keep that up, feel both hamstrings. Okay. Ooh, definitely feel both hamstrings there. Okay, and then we're getting ready for our bear crawls again. Flip them back over. Again, 6.4 points, up to you. Still ground to keep the core tight. Moving those opposite limbs as controlled as you can. A lot of core. If you go nice and slow and keep both. Uh, limbs off the ground at the same time here. Well, and the legs really get working too, so you get everything with this one. Great, we saved it for the end of the workout, eh? <laughs> and time. All right, folks, we're almost there. One more, one more set of those. Get ready for those bent knee dips. Here we go. That form tight. Halfway, we've got about 10 seconds left here now. Ooh, really feel that up. I'm gonna focus on that form. Try to keep those reps really good. Oh, wow. Okay, so we're back on the ground. Glute bridges. Here we go. Push that foot in, squeeze the glutes. Get that full hip extension. I like to spend about a half second at the top. Just make sure my hips are fully extended. My glutes are squeezed together. My core is tight and I'm pushing that entire foot into the ground.
Keep pushing, keep pushing. And time. All right. Last one, those bear crawls, right? Save the best for last, that's what they say. So focus on your technique here. Okay, core is nice and tight. Everything's moving together. The knees low if you've got them lifted. Don't let yourself get too stretched out. Kind of keep that initial form where the knees are about under the hips and the hands are about under the shoulders. Whoa, we did it. Definitely feeling those bear crawls at the end. Great work, everyone. Uh, grab a quick drink if you need, and then we'll just do a little uh, cool down, little stretch, and then that'll be it. All right, so let's start the cool down. Grab onto a wall if you have for support. Grab the heel, pull it towards the bum, push the hip forward. Nice stretch through the front of the hip here. Big breath in, big exhale. Feeling ourselves relax. Okay, we're gonna hit the other side. Okay, nice and tall again. Hip goes forward, core stays tight. You wanna feel all that lengthening through the front of the hip. Okay, so we're gonna get down on the ground. We're just gonna do a little uh, kind of stretch here. So we're gonna get on the hands and knees. I'm gonna take my right hand, I'm gonna reach it under. Okay, so I'm gonna reach over to my left, and then I'm gonna come and open back up. Okay, reach that under, so it's stretching out the whole back of the shoulder, into your lat even, and then you're gonna bring it back across and open up. Okay, now we're stretching out the chest a little, and one more. Reach it under, reach across, and then we're gonna open back up. Okay, we'll do three on the other side. So reach in like so, so reach it under, and then open it. Of course, we're breathing while we're doing this, right? Focusing on cooling everything down. And open up. Okay, last one. Hands will go in front of us. We're just gonna sit back into the heel. So child's pose, three big breaths. As you breathe, sink into it a little bit lower. Letting those lats lengthen, letting everything lengthen and relax. All right, so that's it. So that's our beginner workout, upper and lower core. Um, awesome job getting that in today. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day, and uh, we'll see you back again soon. Take care now.